Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repent and we will be found. Amen. Amen. We have such a good, good father that he will come and find us. Even when we don't know that we're lost, he will come and find us. First, giving honor to God for this opportunity to be able to speak before you. To uh, On behalf of my pastor, uh, my shepherd, Pastor Ralph Douglas West, all right, all right. and the shepherd of this house, Bless Pastor Matthew, Matt McGorthy, um, just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us go before God with prayer. Father God, thank you for this opportunity time to be able to speak your holy word. Lord God, I just ask that you would just right now fill me up with your holy spirit. Mm -hmm. Let your speaking power, your anointing power flow through me right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask that you would just allow your people to see you, Father God. Decrease me as you increase, Father God. Hide me behind the cross, Father God. Let your Holy Spirit overflow throughout this place as I speak your holy word. And let it fall on good ground, Father God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Our text today will come from Hosea chapter 14. All right. Hosea chapter 14. Amen. And our focus will be on Hosea chapter 14 verses 1 as well as verse 8. Again, our focus will be on 1 as well as verse 8. All right. And I will read it for your hearing as well. Return Israel to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all our sins and receive us graciously that we may offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria cannot save us. We will not mount walkiness, war horses. We will never again say our gods to what our own hands have made. For in you, the fatherless find compassion. I will heal their waywardness and love them freely. For my anger has turned away from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He will blossom like a lily. Like a cedar of Lebanon, he will send down his roots. His young shoots will grow. His splendor will be like an olive tree. His fragrance like a cedar of Lebanon. People will dwell again in his shade. They will blossom like the vine. Israel's fame will be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more have I to do with idols? I will answer him and care for him. I am like a flourishing juniper. Your fruitfulness comes from me. Who is wise? Let them realize these things. Who is discerning? Let them understand. The ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them. But the rebellious stumble in them. Again, focus on verse 1 as well as verse 8. Return Israel to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Ephraim, what more have I to do with idols? I will answer him and care for him. I am like a flourishing juniper. Your fruitfulness comes from me. Amen. This is the word of God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. September 2012, 13-year-old girl Beth Robertson in Cypress, Texas, ran away, or should I say drove away from my home by taking her brother's car as well as her mother's ATM card. She was headed to meet a young boy, 12-year-old in Kentucky, whom she met online oh, by playing an Xbox 360 game go. and check. Mm. Oh, wow. She was found by a state trooper mm. later, and she drove from Cypress, Texas, mm. all the way to Nashville. Wow. wow. I said she was only 13. Yeah. Wow. She had some good driving lessons. Yeah. Yeah. Beth's father drove for days and hundreds of miles without sleeping to try and find his little girl. My God. After only a few days, Beth was returned safely back home to her parents, who although had an abundance of emotions running through them, received her graciously yeah. as well as unconditionally. Upon her return back home, sometime during the interview, 13-year-old 
Beth stated, it felt good to be home, sweet home. Yeah. We find that in this, in this same time, Thomas appealed for this Old Testament prophet Hosea, Hosea, he was a faithful husband who watched his wife go or leave him and humiliate him publicly yeah. by being unfaithful yeah. time and time again. Yeah. Hosea did everything he could to reclaim her until his attempts were eventually successful. Yeah. Through this whole experience, Hosea learned that there is no measurable distance to which God will not go in order to reconcile his relationship yeah. with his people. Yeah. Yeah. God does long for our return. Yeah. He longs for you <laughs> and I to return back to him. Yeah. And in Hosea chapter 14, verse 1, we see one of the great passages in this word concerning our return back into our Father God. Yeah. The major call of this prophetic book is return. Yeah. Hosea <laughs> used this word return 15 yeah. And it means a radical reorientation of life back towards God. Yeah. God continually cries throughout the book of Hosea, the door is open from my side, come back. Yeah. Yeah. Now this call from God came after the people had already experienced disastrous disobedience as we see in verse 1. Wow. Your sins have been your downfall. Yeah. But true conversion is the abandonment of of all sin as well as restoration to all good. Yeah. I'm gonna say that one more time for your hearing. <laughs> True conversion is the abandonment of, of all, all sin, sin as well as the restoration to all good. Yes. Acts chapter three, verse 19 reads, repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. This lets you and I know that we are to have what is called a metanoia. Hmm. A metanoia. It's a transformative change of heart, especially a spiritual conversion. Yes. Hosea is speaking clearly to those who have already stumbled. All was already lost, yeah. Yeah. broken, dismayed, and devastated. But our loving God, our gracious God, our heavenly Father, he doesn't leave us out there. No, he says, come back, my daughter. Yeah. Come back, my son. Come back, my children. Let us begin again. You see, Thank brothers you and sisters, God is longing for our return. Yeah. All the time that you are running away from him, he is running after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants yeah. you to be with him. Yes. Therefore, God's love is always due season. Mm. Earlier, if we heard winter season, this is due season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Verse 8 reads, I am like a flourishing juniper. With the changing seasons, the juniper or evergreen tree, which you may find in other translations, always show the presence of life. This is what God is like. Mm. This is what our Heavenly Father is like. Yeah. Thriving life. Thriving and flourishing love. Yeah. God's love is always in season, yeah. Thank you, always fresh, Amen. due season, always abundant. Uh, yeah. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 through 5, the NIV version reads, <laughs> But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, yeah. made us alive with Jesus Christ. Even when we were dead in our sins and transgressions, it is by grace you have been saved. Yes. Gomer found that although she was unfaithful to Hosea, the same way that we are unfaithful to God, the love of Hosea was like that. Yes, yes it was. Yes. You see, 13-year-old Beth, she found that although she drove her little oh, self no. away no. from home, <laughs> the way we drive ourselves, our little selves, away yeah. from our big, big God, yes. the love of her parents yeah. was like that. Amen. Yes, it was. Right. The love of our Heavenly Father Father God, it is everlasting. Yes. Thank you, God. He wants you to have a change of heart. Yes. He wants yes. you to return back to home, sweet home. Yes. Yes. This is why he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to be born, walk this earth for 33 years, to take up that old rugged cross. Yes. 